Hey there, welcome to Creative Crusade, my ongoing art journey. If you want to learn well, <laughs> if you want to learn alongside with me and uh, improve with me or whatever, I don't know, watch me grow as an artist, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you can, so you can do it in real time. <laughs> All right. So to start off with, you've watched the Dropbox videos on this, right? Yeah. And if you haven't, there's the links down there for the lesson. But to start off with, you're going to grab a ruler or you don't have to do that, but it makes it a lot easier. You're going to use it for the very first step. But other than that, you're not even going to use it at all. You're just going to draw an axis thing. You're going to place a box directly in the middle. So let's try to estimate this. Adjust our points accordingly. Alright, so we're going to ghost to them. That's not a perfect box. <laughs> and for all these boxes in this lesson, you're going to draw through all of them, which means that you get to essentially, I guess you could think of it as they're either made of glass or you have x-ray vision. So you're going to see through all of it. So this is the back of the box. All right. And then we're going to draw a square or a box on each corner of this as a reference point for when we rotate stuff. So let's go ahead and do that too. And they are further back in space because we're gonna rotate the boxes around it. So these are essentially, we're essentially creating an orb of boxes. So it's going to be a halfway point. It's going to be the side point of that orb. So they're going to be further back in space. So they're going to be smaller than this, but not by a ton. And because this is a side view, I guess with infinite perspective, you could just assume that you not don't have to draw through these ones because he doesn't in the video or in the lesson. So, or rather we do draw through them, but because it's uh, infinite perspective, you are seen through all of it. I think that's why, but what do I know? I am just a lowly peasant, a peasant artist learning to draw. Oops, you don't have to stress about how good this looks because the whole point of Drawbox, whoops, is about getting better, not necessarily trying to make something that looks good. So that is not a bad goal. Then once you got your reference boxes, you're gonna start adding in boxes that are slowly rotating. And then you can add them into that side. And that's when it gets complicated once you get these four corners done. So let's go ahead and do these four. So we're gonna add two boxes per line or per side of the, bo of the orb. The orb of boxes, the square orb. We're pretty much doing guesswork here as an educated guess because it's like the organic perspective and the, I think the rough perspective where we're guessing kind of, but you can use the boxes around you as hints. So it's usually safe to assume that this, you're going to keep a gap here and that your box is consistent with the perspective of this world. And because it's rotating away from us, that's why this, that's why it's getting smaller as it goes back that way. And again, we're gonna draw through our forms and we know that these are very close to each other already. So we can use the back of this box to determine that, okay, our box, boxes back of this one is gonna be right next to it, which is very, very useful. Been a while since I've done this exercise. It's actually kind of fun. It can be. Okay. 
and you're gonna just do the same thing and add another one right there. And this is not, this is kind of extreme because of how fast it's turning. I'm gonna pull that in a little more because it's a little too similar to this one. So this doesn't really match this perspective, but that's okay because you're learning or I'm learning still. This isn't you, this is me. <laughs> So I messed up on the back of this one here because it's, I think it's too wide. It's not very square in shape, but these shapes we're creating aren't perfect cubes. They taper off at the back. So we're just gonna do this, what we did here, to there, there, and there. We're gonna try to match the perspective. That one's way off, but that's all right. It's a happy mistake, as Bob Ross says or something. There are no mistakes, they're just happy accidents or something, yeah. Except we're not painting, we are drawing. Because we are artists of the pencil. Not that Bob Ross wasn't, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I just, I suppose I like to talk. All right, so there's our crooked, crookedies. Crick, crookedy, crookedy, crackedies, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's get the sides in now. Hit, <laughs> hit, hoppity hoppity. Hopping on the bunny trail. This one's kind of weird. I think it's too long. Too long. All right, just one more before the easy part's over. <laughs> then the real fun begins. So now we're gonna add the corners and this one's particularly difficult. But because we've been sort of keeping our boxes next to each other and using the corners as hints or the edges, we can continue to use that along here. So we know that this box is gonna start here, like that. So it's gonna have, we know where two of its sides are gonna be already, which is a huge help. Now for the middle or the other corner, we can just kind of make a guess of where it's gonna be based on the context of everything else. So it's probably gonna be somewhere a little like right, right around there. Then we can draw that in. And of course the back side is the same. As we can see back here that we know the corners are gonna be next to the other corners. We know that for a fact. We can just make another guess as to where that corner will be. Looks like I made it. I, I chose poorly. All right, so that's how you do that corner. And then we're gonna do the same thing for right there and there. So we already know our one of our, or two of our sides of our boxes are gonna be right along here. We're also gonna make a guess as to where this, this fourth point will be. Whoops, that was way bad. There we go. And again, on the back side, we know that the, we know they're going to be along those gaps where we already have. We can just guess where this one's going to be as well. Continue the guesswork. The guesswork. We can add another one here. And you can also put down points like I like I like to do. I'll put a point here and then I'll kind of weigh how that feels before I commit and draw the lines. And I feel like this needs to go to the left more here. So I'm just gonna push that over to there. And that feels a little better. So I'm just gonna go to that instead.
So we can find these points. Oops. Should have drew from the right angle. All right, and then there's gonna be one more box right up here in the corner, but it's so far away that it's basically just a straight line because that's what, because if we follow this, we know our point's gonna be here, here, and here, which is almost basic, which basically is a straight line. So we can just connect that. And if we can see through all these lines, and try to find where the back of it should be. Something like that. Whoops, wrong point. So this is where it starts to get really cloudy with all these lines everywhere. And I think that's right. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna take this and do it along here as well. Uh, one thing you can do to not make your line so crowded, or sorry, to help these stand out is you can add line weight in between here, like you did with the rough perspective. You just fill all that in, and it gives a little bit more of a visual hierarchy, as you can kind of tell. Now to finish all the corners. Again, doing what we already know, using these other sides as hints. I need to practice my, or be more careful with my shoulder drawing, because my lines are really wobbly. So be careful when you're drawing these lines to take care with your sh ghosting and you're actually drawing with your shoulder. Otherwise you get wobbly lines like me. All right, half of it's done. Now let's finish the rest. So we have a full orb, orb thingy bob, blob ball thing, thing of stuff, thing of nightmares. And one left. All right, so there's our, wait, nope, not yet. Then let's fill it all in. All these gaps, if I can find them. Using your shoulder. Just follow on down the line. I got kind of lazy here. Just kind of, eh. <laughs> yeah, good enough, right? Okay. So that is what you'll end up with something looking like that. That is how you do the rotated boxes exercise. So I hope it helped you to see how I do it. So yeah, um, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you later.